What have you um, noticed with Ian's progress with Myobrace? What kind of changes have you seen or improvements has he made? I mean, the biggest the biggest improvement's really been his jaw alignment. I mean, it's been really, really noticeable. Um, where his jaw is really kind of coming out further, so his mm -hmm. bite's kind of lining up. So when he smiles now, you see his teeth lining up where he had a big overbite. And it seems like it hasn't taken that long to get there. So for him, it's been progressing quite a bit. So we see what he eats and when he's chewing, we see when he's sleeping, he's got the mile brace in. We see that his lips can close around it now where they couldn't really do that before. And, um, and for him, it was really simple to follow. So this was Ian when we first saw him. He was uh, eight years old. He was seen and the parents were concerned about his bite and the need for any orthodontic treatment. So as you can see here in Ian's situation, he had some crowding in the upper arch as well as he had a fairly significant overbite there as well. We also looked and evaluated his sinuses and his airways. Uh, we had a bit of a deviated nasal septum and we had a uh, slight constriction in his airway as well. We started Ian out with an expander in the upper arch to uh, widen the palate in order to make more space for his permanent teeth to erupt. And then a combination thereafter of myofunctional therapy to help get the relationship of the upper jaw to the lower jaw in a better relationship. So these are the photos prior to his expander and his myofunctional therapy. And again, after palatal expansion and myofunctional therapy to get the lower jaw in a better relationship with the upper jaw. And this treatment all together uh, took about 12 months. So the patient now not only has a better uh, relationship of the upper and the lower jaw, but also has more space for his remaining permanent teeth to erupt. So there are four goals of myofunctional therapy uh, that we work with the kids. And the first of those four is to properly position the tongue in the roof of the mouth. Secondly is to keep the lips closed. Third, breathe through the nose. And fourth is to swallow properly.